we will demonstrate a data recovery case of W258XT, a really popular chip in the market. Upon entering the corresponding utility, there shows three LDR options, which were prepared for three different firmware versions. If we don't know the firmware version of the controller, we can try them one by one. After loading the relocation block table, there appears the chip ID and manufacturer of the drive and the flash type, which in this case is B0KB. Now we run the virtual translator. Our own debug file is required to proceed. As for what version of the debug file to use, we can refer to the flash type. The flash type in this case is B0KB, as shown before. So now we can search for the wrong debug file with the word B0KB. After successfully loading the file, the software will start to search for data blocks and review the virtual translator. The process will take a long time, so let's fast forward here. When the review of translator has been complete, we need to make a record about the capacity because we need to fill the capacity manually when creating a copy task. Now let's create a task in data extractor. Note that in the initialization settings, read device information shall be disabled. That means the software would not obtain drive capacity automatically. You will need to enter the capacity manually during the task initialization. Here we fill in the capacity information we recorded before into this dialog box. Now optimize the parameters for the copy task. Special attention should be paid to the fact that transfer mode must be factory read mode. Only in this mode can the virtual translator take effect. There is retrieved the partition table of the SSD. The copy speed is also acceptable. This is the end of the sharing. Thank you for watching.